Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Playbook for Performance podcast. I'm your host, Shauna Corden. You can find this out also on YouTube on the Shauna Corden channel. So we're in the middle of our 20-week challenge. We are at number 12 of the 20. And today we're talking about being a problem-free zone and just being problem-free in general. So we're doing this to build our resilience. And part of being so strong and being so resilient is that when we have problems, they don't have to be this giant pothole. They're more like a slight speed bump or, hmm, was that an acorn I just ran over? <laughs> it's pretty smooth sailing and we really want to build that. So let's get into today's lesson. Now, if you're a leader, this whole 20 lesson set is available to your organization to build resilience. It's a super important part of change management. The most effective change strategies come when there's strong leadership, strong communication, and strong employee resilience. Those three things, when they are weak, change efforts fail. So if you feel like this is something that you want to do for your employees to show that you care about them as people, contact us. We are available to do this both um, live, virtually, and in person. So contact us at Shauna at shaunacordon.com or podcast at shaunacordon.com. So when do I suggest this lesson? This lesson is really when you're sick of drama or you're sick of something being such a huge hiccup in your life. You don't want same song, different verse, and you really need some more permanent solutions. Problems are normal. Everybody has problems, but they don't have to be something that's so upsetting. It can be something that's like, oh, let me take care of that. And when I take care of it, I'm going to take care of it permanently. So it's sort of like the investments that you would make in deep cleaning versus just a counter swipe with, you know, a cloth and some cleaner. You know, are you moving canisters or furniture away from the wall? Are you getting in those crevices? You know, are you applying a sealer if it's appropriate? Things like that to really protect it after you've gone through and you've made the investment of time. It's very similar to that. Um, the stronger our foundation is, the fewer problems that we actually encounter because people don't challenge us, number one. They're like, mm, I'm not going to run that by them. Um, and it really frees up our time because when we're not having to deal with all this crap, then, you know, we can work on other things like, being creative and using our imagination, <laughs> which is a lot more fun. So think about the language you use when it comes to problems. Do you consider it a challenge? Is, is it a major obstacle? Is it a dilemma? Are you like involving other people in your community and asking lots of other people what their opinions are and what you should do? Do you suffer from not making a decision? Because we all know that not making a decision is deciding. You're just hoping it resolves itself in some other way rather than depending on you to take action. Is it a burden? You know, is it something that you carry with you for quite some time and it's not very convenient because it doesn't have a handle? Or is it just a nuisance? It's like, hmm, yeah, I got to deal with this, but, you know, a couple phone calls or something like that. I'm going to take care of it. So really most problems um, arise through three different areas that we really need to take care of. One is integrity. So we've talked about integrity multiple times on the podcast, but integrity is really not a moral compass, but staying true to your values. So if you decide to opt for something that's outside your value set, it's probably going to come up again and again in different ways. Boundaries, we've talked about this on the podcast. Boundaries are really, you know, what's um, outside your fence. You know, so we think about boundaries as fences, bad stuff out, good stuff in. So have you allowed someone to come into your space or invade your area or intrude in some way 
or violate something that's important to you. And now you're having to deal with that. The last part is really the standards. You know, how have I chosen to behave? What are my rules of conduct? And am I being consistent with that? You know, if I had followed through, then this person may not have tried to invade, intrude, etc. Those three things, when they're kept up, really we are problem free. So resist the disintegration, right? We want to be integrated, not disintegrated. So, and invite other people to join you in this process. Now, some people will resist. They are addicted to their problems. They feel like it gives them a reason, a purpose. They tend to overreact. There's histrionics. They gossip about them. They use it as an excuse to t stay engaged with other people. And those people are like, uh, no, you don't want to hang out with those people. So in the Bible, they talk about the truth shall set you free. And whenever we see, you know, characters in the Bible that start screwing up and boy, it happens with a ton of them, you know, this is why this is why. So that's just one example. But if you think of the hero's journey in every novel, every great novel that you've ever read, you know, there's always the hero. There's a bad guy, bad situation, something that they have to overcome. They all have the Achilles heel, you know, that, that personal flaw or vulnerability that they have to strengthen to overcome in order to get the girl, you know, win the day, whatever it might be. And so we really want to think of ourselves and program ourselves in this situation so that we come from a position of strength because we know what we want and we behave accordingly. And when we do that, life gets a lot easier. And sometimes no, the word no, can be one of our best strategies to do so. So examine the problems that you have, the themes of those that are going on in your life. Is it because you didn't speak up early, that you didn't um, share what your standards were, that you let someone cross your boundary? Uh, did you fail to follow through? Did you fail to set an expectation? Did you avoid a difficult conversation? Did you choose to be, um, you know, pleasant rather than truth telling? You know, sometimes that's a difficult issue. Uh, but I assure you there's a theme. <laughs> I've worked with thousands of clients over the years and when we go through this lesson and I've, you know, 150,000 people have gone through this class with me. Uh, when it goes to this lesson, it's the same things over and over again. Comes back to that integrity, boundaries, standards. So figure out what your Achilles heel is in this situation so that you can really address it and put together a theme. So last week we were talking about sometimes systems are the way to protect yourself. This is a great way to come up with a system to avoid problems. Now, are these things in your control? You know, I can't control taxes, right? Taxes are a problem. <laughs> They're a small problem. I get it. So, but if we can come up with no, if we can come up with ways to mitigate, etc., no is a very good shield again. So think about the problems that you have and how many of them could have been avoided just by saying no. I'd love to hear your feedback on this one. I'd like to know if you're all consistent with my previous students. So if you enjoyed this lesson, you know, please share with your friends, your community. I would be happy to come and share this with your work group. Uh, we really want your organization to be a really pleasant and strong one and one that you feel safe. So a rising tide lifts all boats. So bring them along, invite them. Again, you can get the theme sheet for this 20 week challenge at our site um, or just Send us a note, podcast at shaunacorden.com, and Michelle will get that off to you. So look forward to seeing you next week for the next lesson in our 20-week challenge.